Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Sniff out the college football cheese as always. We got college football games tomorrow. Hit the like button for that as there's going to be some actual college football, some real football games to watch. In today's video, though, I'm going to show you guys it's probably my most used offense, including one of the easiest plays to run in all of college football 25. It's an absolute cheat code. I'm going to show you guys that. But before I do, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button let me know in the comment section. I'm using Georgia again today, so I can show you guys some offensive plays out of my Georgia offensive ebook as I do feel like this. This is the best offense in the entire game. So if you guys need more help, you can download this instantly or any of my ebooks simply by clicking links in the description or the top pin comment. Now I don't usually do this in college football as I like to mix up my offenses, but since I knew I was going to make a video about this specific offense, I'm just going to run one offense the entire game. Now the formation I'm going to use today is the Gun Deuce Close, which is a formation that's been in Madden for a long time, but this is college football and they have some really unique plays that you typically can't find in Madden, including the one that's probably my favorite. And that's the halfback swing as this running back here will basically beat any defense in the game so i always put that in my audibles and i'm gonna use that a lot like an outside run play since you can't run outside and shotgun looks my next audible play is going to be the inside zone which is basically just an inside run if my opponent's spraying the defensive line too much and i also want to have a double drags concept the mesh double wheel is not bad but i find the mesh spot is just slightly better as i like this deep route to the outside a little bit more and then my last audible is going to be the pa deep over which is a very good man and zone beating route at a depth that people don't usually expect for my fifth and active play I usually call the bench swap because this here has routes on both sides of the field that can get open against any defense but of course since I have to fix my audibles every single game and I can't preset them or my depth chart I usually have to make a decision between burning a timeout or taking some sort of stupid penalty e, 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 e. Now, on the first play of just about every single game that I play, I always call this swing pass to the running back. But you want to try to make sure it's running to a side that has the least amount of defender. So I flip the play, but by the time I get set, he drops his cover three safety down to basically make it null and void. But I still can throw this out against any man or zone and still get some yards. So I do what I can to get four. But I'll go back to that play in a minute. As there's a lot of plays in this formation that beat man and zone. So I call one on the next play in the double drags as pretty much both drag routes and this comeback route over the middle get open. I just have to watch what direction the user middle linebacker goes and throw it to the other. As you can see, we get a very easy catch and run as that play will be any defense man or zone. On this next play, I stay with the bench swap as I really can beat any man or zone with this particular setup. All you have to do is put the A tight end on a streak to pull back any zone coverage in the area and the running back or the B corner route will get open against any zone coverage underneath it. And if your opponent is in a man coverage, both of the routes on the left side will get open against man. And it looks like he's in a man zero blitz, but we don't even have to make an adjustment to our pass blocking scheme as we just have to hit this out route for an easy catch and run. When I get back to the huddle, I take a quick look to see what kind of defense he was in, and sure enough, he was in cover zero. And when I come back out of the huddle, it looks like he's in cover zero again. So since he's sending everybody up the field, we're basically going to hit him with the easiest screenplay in the game in the halfback swing. The real genius of this play is the blocking of both the B receiver and the A tight end. As you see, these guys never miss. They always seal the edge and always allow you to get outside. As you really just have to run away from the defenders as wide as possible, and you can typically take this for very big gains. But on this play, since he was blitzing, we just run right around everybody my opponent has a similar offensive philosophy as well as he hits me with double drags on back-to-back -back plays to take his time going down the field but you never want to run that too often as your opponent will eventually pick up on it once he gets inside the red zone i shut down his run play to get him with third and one then on fourth and one he tries to hit a curl route True, I bet you here. so on fourth and one since he couldn't run on third down i figure he's gonna pass so we hard flat to take away these short routes underneath and when he tries to throw that double drags once again we're all over it Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive it. 
and I'll take the touchdown, but that's the last time I get the ball for this entire half. As he works his way down the field and eventually punches it in with a quarterback sneak on third and goal, leaving only 20 some seconds left on the play clock, and he even goes for two to make things very interesting. He gets the ball at the start of the second half as well, and we both thought that was a pick as he completely stops running with the tight end thinking that the ball was given away before moving down the field very quickly and scoring on a BS animation, holding onto the ball and reaching for the goal line while getting sandwiched between two defenders. <coughs> and since I couldn't stop his offense and I know he can't stop mine, my plan is to keep the ball the rest of this game since he basically did that to me. So on this first play, if I see any space for this out route, I'm going to take it as this route can get open against any man or zone as well, as it's very important to stay on schedule and take what the defense gives you in college football on the next play i take the running back underneath although he clearly hard flatted but at least i got the first down so on the next play we go back to the bench swap and run an alternate way where this time we're going to streak the wide tight end and put the a tight end on a drag and now we have a high low concept between the dragging tight end and the corner on the other side but there's always a chance that the user is going to chase that drag so i also put the running back in a texas route so that will basically get wide open if my opponent follows the drag then i put the b receiver on a 10 yard end so that i have a late check down if he's covering any of these routes and sure enough, he takes the bait on that first route. Psych! Letting his running back get wide open over the top. I go back to the halfback swing on the next play because this play always gets a couple of yards. And I want that to be fresh in my opponent's mind because if your opponent starts focusing on the running back, it means other areas of the field are going to be open. I use the inside zone on the next play. And I just can't help myself from trying to make a highlight real play, but it occurs to me that I'm getting too many yards at a time. So we go back to the dink and dunk, as we're going to either go running back here if it's zone, or if I see space, I'm just going to hit this out route, as this is going to be something that's going to be open against man or zone anyway, as we accidentally get another first down. So I figure I'll probably get the least amount of yards if I just run with a simple inside zone. And I couldn't have been more wrong as there was nothing in my way from scoring. So I tried to do a little extra stick work so I get tackled in bounds and I get tackled out of bounds anyway. So the gig's up. He's going to get the ball back. So from here, I just decided to go back to that out route as it's pretty much open every single play. But now I got to go for two points to make it a seven point game. And when I see that his cornerbacks have this much outside containment, I know right away that it's probably not the best idea to run that play again. I could try to throw it to the halfback swing. But once again, that cornerback looks like he's in a hard flat cover too. So if his concern is trying to take away these outside routes, I'm just going to go right over the middle. So I'm going to switch to the double drags and he follows those drag routes out of the middle of the field to leave that comeback route wide open over the middle. Do it. And now every single time I've touched the football, it ended in the end zone. But now we're going to have to play defense as we get him to a quick fourth and six and he picks it up with guess what? Double drags. And my man is confident that he's going to win this game as he lets the clock run down from the 50 yard line. Two hours later. <laughs> And he does eventually get down the field into scoring range by using a lot of double drags concepts the exact same way before switching over to a lot of screen plays as it seems like his offense has been reduced to nothing but double drags and screens. So we shut that down with a hard flat in the very next play before he tries double drags on the next play. And to stop this, all you really have to do is have some hard flats on the field and a bunch of hook curls as he tries to take those routes over the middle and nothing is open. How about new? And I bet you wish you had back those 10 seconds now, don't you? As we get the stop and end the game, and I didn't get the ball much, but I scored every single time I touched it. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, more college football, or more offense, I'll have that popping up on screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.